With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is a solid cylinder is rolling without slipping on a plane having inclination theta and coefficient of static friction as mu s. The relation between theta and mu s is hence we can see here suppose this is our inclined plane and here angle of inclination is theta. Now a solid cylinder is rolling down this inclined plane and static coefficient of friction is given here as mu s. So when this rolls down we can see here the friction acting upward normal acting perpendicular to the inclined plane and we can see here down the incline there is mg sin theta and here there is let's say mg cos of theta. Now we can see here this cylinder let's say accelerates downward with an acceleration given here as g sin theta divided by we can say here as 1 plus i divided by we have here as mr square. Now for solid cylinder we know moment of inertia about the center of mass is equal to m r square divided by 2 hence this comes as 1 plus 1 by 2 is our let's say 3 divided by 2 so this is the acceleration of this solid cylinder that is 2 g sin theta divided by 3 now we need the relation between let's say theta and the coefficient of the friction mu s so we can see here this here is our mg sin of theta and this here is our let's say friction acting now this here is normal and this can be said here as mg we can say as cos of theta now we can say here friction let's say equation can be written here for this block we can say here f plus we have here as m a given out to be equal to we have here as m g of we can say as sin theta. So friction here can be written as mu n. So mu into normal reaction as we can see here let's say perpendicular to the inclined plane we have here as m g cos theta. So this comes as mu n where n is equal to m g cos theta plus here this comes as m a. So here we can say m into a here is given as 2 by 3 of g into sin theta is equal to we have here as mg sin theta. Now taking the second term to the left side hence this comes out to be our mg sin theta divided by we have here as 3 and this part here comes as mu mg into we can say here as cos theta. Now mg and mg cancels out hence this comes as 3 mu is equal to we can say here as let us say sin theta divided by cos theta is equal to we have here as tan theta. So we can see here 3 mu must be greater than or equal to our tan theta where mu is the static let us say friction coefficient that is mu s. So 3 mu s must be greater than or equal to tan theta. Here we can see option number 2 that is tan theta less than equal to 3 mu s is the correct answer. Hence we can say here 2 is our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.